So I just went through a dither on the Orion Nebula and here's a look at the guiding. I just cleared it. It's pretty good tonight. There's some breezes that will come through and like knock the mount around like right there. So where it kind of jumps a bit. Just a little bit of breeze. It makes a pretty big impact though. But guiding's around 0.9 or so I'd say. Um, but here's a look at the last sub I got on the Orion Nebula M42. And this is just a really awesome nebula. It's my favorite nebula to look at visually. It's just full of, you know, detail and it's just really fascinating through the scope. But uh, I haven't made a video lately because I just relocated. Um, I moved about 25 miles away from, not 25 miles, about 25 minutes away from where I was previous living here in Georgia. Um, and yeah, I've just been really busy with that, but uh, this is my first target that I'm going after from the new yard. And uh, in my new yard here, I've got wide open view to the south and the west, southwest, and the east is also quite good. And the north is also pretty decent. I mean, I, I have much, much more wide open field of view than I used to have, but uh, yeah, we're just working on M42, the Orion Nebula. It's mid-December here. It's uh, just a few nights after new moon and it's like 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, so it's really cold, so yeah, that, that's not fun, but uh, you can zoom in real close and you can see the stars look really good coming through here, so uh, yeah, just working the Orion Nebula a little bit. And we are zoomed all the way out. But uh, we'll see how this turns out. I'm going to collect quite a bit of data here. I'm just doing uh, two minute exposures because um, this is just a really bright object and I feel like that was probably a, a good length of exposure. I'm not really aiming to get some of that fainter nebula around the, the main nebula itself, but uh, just trying to uh, get a nice decent first image here from, from my new location. And I'll probably just be shooting this through tonight only. I don't think I'm going to make this into a multi-night project. Eventually I probably will go to Dialic. I don't know if it'll be this year or not, but uh, go to Dialic in the Bortle Class 3 skies and really try to uh, shoot this nebula and get some of that really faint nebulosity around it. But right now we're just uh, going to make our first image from the new yard, so we'll see how this turns out. And here's a quick look at the scope on the Advanced VX mount. This is the Mead 6000 series 80mm APO with the Orion Magnificent Mini Auto Guider. I just moved this Auto Guider between my two scopes. But uh, yeah, that's it. Currently uh, working on Orion up there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, doing quite good. Here's another look at the guiding. It's just a bit over a 1 for the total RMS error. But, uh, that's pretty good for this uh, focal length of the telescope. And I've got the uh, DSLR attached there, and I've also got the astronomic CLS filter, uh, the city light pollution suppression filter, and I've got the dew bands on to prevent dew tonight. But yeah, we're just uh, working on M42, the Great Nebula in Orion.